Number one says, use the unit squares to find the area of the rectangle. So if you count the squares, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one half, one half, which equals one, one half, one half, which equals one. So you have 10 units squared. Number two says, write five multiples of seven. So that just means if you continue to count by sevens, what do you get? So seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and so on. You need at least five of them, but as long as it is a multiple of seven, you are fine. Number three says, Shoshana and Ariel got different answers on a fraction estimation problem for the problem eight-ninths plus one-fourth. Shoshana wrote eight-ninths plus one-fourth is greater than one. Ariel wrote eight-ninths plus one-fourth is less than one. Which one is correct, and how do you know? So if you look here, we have eight-ninths, which is almost one, plus one-fourth, Therefore, if you add the two together, your answer is probably greater than 1. So I would say that Shoshana is probably correct. So then it asks how you know. So you can just explain that 8 ninths is 1 ninth less than 1. 1 fourth is greater than 1 ninth. So when you add the two together, there has to be an answer greater than 1. Number 4 says write all the factors of 30. So if you do your rainbow, the first one is always 1 times what equals 30, which is 30. Then I know that 2 also goes into 30, so 2 is a factor. And if you look, 2 times 15 is 30. I also know 3 goes into 30. 3 times 10 is 30. And then I also know 5 goes into 30. 5 times 6. So your answer is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Number 5 says fill in the missing numbers. So if I do 1 half equals 5 something, in order to get from 5, or I'm sorry, from 1 to 5, you multiply by 5, so you have to do the same thing to the denominator. So 2 times 5 is 10. Here, 2 thirds equals something over 12. To get from 3 to 12, you multiply by 4. Therefore, you have to multiply the numerator by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 thirds equals 8 twelfths. And the last one is 9 over something equals 90 over 100. So 9 times 10 equals 90, which means something times 10 equals 100. 10 times 10 equals 100, therefore 9 tenths equals 90 hundredths. And number 6 says solve. If 4 is 1 half of the whole, what is the whole? So if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is half of it, it means I need the same thing on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore the whole is 8. Again, if 2 is 1 third of the whole, so here's my thirds, I have two. It means I need two here and two here. My answer of the whole is six.